This week, the Northern International Livestock Expo Exposition is underway in Billings. And through the years, the Nile has always been a show with some of the most influential livestock genetics in the world. But as Russell Nimitz shares in our Montana Ag Network report, the Nile has also gained recognition for helping young people get a start in the livestock industry. It's really fun because you get to learn new things and I've always really liked to just be around cows. For over 50 years, the Nile has been helping to preserve our western whale life. It's also been investing in the next generation, like nine-year-old Chael Roberts of Absorki, Montana, who loves coming to the Nile and learning about livestock showmanship. Getting to go in the show ring, washing, blowing, and getting to do it with my family. The Nile is in the blood of the Roberts family. Chael's father, Jeremy, also showed cattle at the Nile as a kid and still does. I grew up uh, showing steers. Um, I've probably come to the Nile for 25 years. I don't know that I've missed one. Maybe I haven't always had cattle here, but if I didn't, I was helping somebody else. Now as a parent, it's really special, he says, for his wife Kate and him to watch Chael follow in their footsteps. It makes you feel good, you know, you see the passion and try and all the little things you try to teach them every day, you know, uh, honesty, integrity, hard work get out of bed in the morning, go to bed at night so you can roll out and, and uh, see them happy and smile that they've done well. Get paid off for their work, makes it worth it. And Chael says he appreciates the time he spends with his parents. The best part about hanging out with them is um, being able to do hands-on hands -on things with them and stuff. Jeremy says it's events like the Nile that are also teaching their son some valuable life lessons. You gotta learn how to talk to people, look at them, shake their hand, be honest, tell them the truth, work hard and do what you say. As for the future, this nine-year-old wants to continue to show cattle and someday own his own ranch. He also says that people both young and old need to appreciate our farmers and ranchers and where their food comes from. Then you're more thankful for it, cause you know what you what you have put in to be able to produce the food and know where it's coming from. So it's stories like this that only reinforce that the Nile's mission of educating the next generation of farmers and ranchers is indeed working. In Billings, Montana, Russell Nemitz, MTN News. The Nile Stock Show and Rodeo runs through this Saturday in Billings.